With Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter number 44 on the horizon, we have brand new leaked images and panels for the upcoming manga chapter in which showcases a very interesting side to the upcoming story involving Moro that also introduces us to one of the very first fights that Moro is going to have alongside planet locations to where these battles are going to be taking place, as the first image having to be shown on screen is Moro seemingly enough talking to Goku and Vegeta. Now we are going to get the full translation and full manga chapter on this channel in about two days so make sure you guys punch that subscribe button and enable all notifications to be in the loop whenever the entire manga chapter is posted as we are going to go in depth in seeing what happens firsthand as Moro seems to be talking to someone as the next image having to be shown is Vegeta having to seemingly enough reply back. So I'm only assuming here that Vegeta is going to be speaking to Moro. I do believe that finally due to Goku's instant transmission technique they're finally able to locate Moro, but the question lingers as to where Moro's whereabouts are and where exactly he had been this entire time. Well, according to one of the scans, as shown on screen, we notice how Goku is talking to the Namekian people, which only indicates that this battle and this entire premise will be taking place on planet Namek. So even though Goku is talking to the Namekians, he is perhaps asking them about information that he may want to know about Moro, as the next image having to be shown here showcases Vegeta having to save a Namekian child. Now why exactly is it that Vegeta is saving this Namekian boy seems to be unknown at this current point in time, however what follows is the engagement between Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Moro, and based on this one panel alone, based on this one scan alone, it looks like Moro is easily able to no diff Vegeta, and what I mean by that is this is a post Broly Vegeta Super Saiyan and blue striking Moro in his blue form while Moro casually blocks away. So Moro does seem like he's going to be a formidable opponent in this particular situation as the final image having to be shown reveals Moro in all his glory and I will say his design looks absolutely incredible. I love the overall design. He's not too brocky, he's not fat, but then again he's not super skinny either. He is the epitome of what I believe a true villain looks like like. His beard's hanging low, he looks very ferocious when it comes to his overall stance, so Moro does seem like he is going to be giving both Goku and Vegeta a very difficult time in this situation, and being that also if you guys notice in the middle near his belt buckle, there seems to be an unknown symbol that is inscribed within his belt. Now what that symbol means is unknown, but let's not forget as an indication a lot of these symbols have been shown on Hakaishin garments and many other things so I'm not implying that he is possibly a Hakaishin but then again you'll never know so that's a very interesting symbol on his belt buckle there but I do want to say that his overall stance and his overall design is absolutely incredible in terms of its presentation now again we are going to have more scans for you all later on today and within the coming hours so make sure you guys go ahead and tune in for that if you guys are excited to see Moro versus Vegeta and even potentially Moro versus Goku then make sure you guys go ahead and slap a big fat like down below as I'm excited to see what comes out of this manga chapter but then again I do also want to think that Moro is going to absorb the Genki from the planet and perhaps even Goku and Vegeta in using that to get stronger and if he does the question lingers how strong is Moro currently up against the blue characters and how strong can he get if he absorbs more energy in comparison to a post Dragon Ball Super Broly Goku and Vegeta which again as I've said we are going to be getting more skills in the next couple of hours but then again I also want to show you guys how Moro battles against Vegeta and is easily able to rip apart his robe showcasing his form and Vegeta looks absolutely puzzled by the way Moro looks and I will say again Moro's stance, Moro's presentation, it looks incredible and the fight is taking place on planet Namek so however that fight turns out is unknown at this very current point in time but Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter number 44 is going to showcase the early stages of Moro versus our characters and I would like to know what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on his design? How strong do you think he is? Is this dude stronger than Broly? Is he stronger than our current heroes or is he going to get stronger simply by absorbing energy? Let me know your thoughts down below guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day and night wherever you guys are watching from. Thank you all once more. Tune back in for more. 
Follow me at Twitter at Unreal and Gaming. I'll be posting more scans on there and my Instagram, UnrealDBZ. Thank you all so much once more, and I'll be seeing you all in the comment section, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.